Hi, I'm Dave Ulrich. I'm here today to talk with you about two questions. How do we help HR professionals be more effective at what they do? Am I seen as effective? And how do we help HR drive business effectiveness? So how does HR be effective in driving business results? As we've talked in other settings, we have data for 2012 from 20,000 people around the world, thanks to some great co-sponsors at Michigan and partners around the world. And we've said there are six domains of competence of HR, strategic positioning, looking outside, credible activist, looking inside, capability builder, change champion, HR innovator, and technology proponent. Today we're going to talk about change champions and how does a change champion help make both the HR professional as an individual successful and help that HR professional drive business performance. The need for change is greater than ever. In the last five years, from 2007 to 2012 when we've done these studies, the pace of change in the world in which we lived has been huge. The Arab Spring, the global economic crisis, the, ran the huge influx of technology with cloud computing, Facebook now being the third largest country in the world, change is dramatic and it is huge. How does HR become a champion to help manage that change? And we identified in our research two things. Number one, you have to be excellent at helping initiate change. Can I help my organization build a case for change? Do we understand why we're doing it? Can I help my organization know what we're changing to? The initiation of change is the ability to get people started, to get people engaged, to get people feeling, yes, we must respond. An executive told me once, he said, it took 50 years to build a business. We can lose it in 18 months if we don't adapt and respond. Can I initiate and get over that momentum? Second is, can I sustain it? Sustaining change means man having the capacity to last and endure over time and to make sure that the change that we initiate has resources has capacity and the ability to sustain change. Here's what we found. Those HR individuals who are seen as effective are especially good at initiating change. So if you're an HR professional and you say, I want my managers, I want other HR people, I want staff to think I'm capable and good, be good at initiating change, get started, make a difference, help build the case for change. But those HR professionals who are effectively using HR to drive business results are especially good at sustaining change. Initiating change gets me respected. Sustaining change gives me results. That is a fascinating finding. Norm Smallwood and I are now writing a book. We think the next step in leadership is called leadership sustainability. And the challenge of leadership and HR professionals to help leaders is to sustain the change that leaders know they should do. Lots of times we know why we should change and what we should change to. Sustainability is about how we change. And our job in HR is to help leaders and our organizations sustain the changes that we put in place. That's what we found in our research. If you want to be an effective HR professional, you have to do both, initiate and sustain change, especially initiate. If you want HR to effectively drive business results, you have to be especially good at sustaining change. Now let me give you a peek preview of our book. We think there's seven things that are critical to leaders who sustain change. One, simple results. Don't make it complex, make it simple. Second, time. How do we as HR professionals focus our leaders' time on the things they should do? Not what they say, but what they do. Third, accountability. How do we help leaders be publicly and personally accountable for the sustained changes they have? Third, resources. This may mean coaching and it may mean our HR practices. Build coaching and practices so that leaders do what they say they'll do. Track. We sustain what we measure. Track the results. Meliorate, bad word, but meliorate means that we learn and we grow. And sustaining change is not doing the same thing. It's improving and getting better. And finally, find the emotion that comes from change. In our research on sustainability, those are the principles we can weave into sustainability. 
When we do it, we help organizations change. We're change champions, and we drive effective business results. Thanks.